We are together with uh, our guest from East Turkestan. He lives in the U.S. His name is Nuri Turkel. He's Turkish, of course, Turkish origin. Mashallah, welcome. Mr. Thank Turkel. you so much. Uh, Merhaba to you. Um, uh, I am a, a private attorney in Washington. Um, I have been living in the States in the last 18 years. I'm originally from the uh, ancient city of Kashgar. I was born and raised in Kashgar. Um, I went to grad school, law school in the United States. Now I uh, practice law and work on the Uyghur issues uh, whenever I have a chance. Um, I came here to speak on uh, Turkey-China-U.S. relations uh, in the context of uh, Uyghur issue. Um, I just finished my presentation. As you know, there is a lot of radicalism and terror and violence, not only in the Middle East, but in the entire world, including East Turkestan, for example, and uh, in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, in Iraq. What do you think could be the solution to stop the radicalism and terror and violence? The, uh, that's an interesting question. Um, the word terror and the radicalism is not even part of the Uyghur uh, dictionary. It's all foreign stuff. Uh, that type of description or narration did not even exist until 9-11. The reason being the Chinese government never portrayed the Uyghurs uh, when it comes to the Uyghur struggle with such unpopular names. Uh, and only small percentage of the population uh, decided to uh, uh, take up arms against the Chinese government. Um, some of them uh, believed to be in Af Pakistan. Uh, and any time when something happens in the homeland, Chinese likes to c accuse outside Uyghur groups, i.e. terrorists. But um, based on the actual investigation and, and, and thorough academic research, uh, most of the people who specialize in the Uyghur issue uh, from various cultures in Europe, in the U.S., and even in Turkey have concluded that the Chinese uh, claim over um, the so-called Uyghur terrorism is exaggeration. Even if 100 people decided to do that, compared to 20 million, it is, is, is an ignorable uh, percentage of the population. Uyghurs are peaceful people, uh, they're tolerant people, uh, very civilized people, and we have probably, we have, the Uyghurs probably they have, uh, in my view, the Uyghurs probably one of those uh, peoples in the world who can claim that they have centuries old civilization. Uh, and yet, because of the ongoing oppression and onslaught against the Uyghurs' very existence on cultural and religious front, some Uyghurs feel threatened, frustrated. Uh, but most of the Uyghur organizations worldwide uh, does not condone, rather condemns uh, violence, uh, terrorism. It's not going to take. It's not going to get you anywhere. It can only help your enemy to further the propaganda campaign. So um, the best way to handle the Uyghur issue uh, and prevent the future violence is having the Chinese government to uh, reassess its uh, minority policies and restore some of the cultural rights that are guaranteed both under the Chinese constitution and the autonomy laws as well as some propaganda and some of the propaganda uh, materials that the Chinese government has been um, published and implemented. So the, 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 the ball is in the Chinese court in order for that to be uh, resolved, handled appropriately and create harmonious, a peaceful society. Um, in my view, the, the, the peace, um, in my view, you know, this, may, this may sound like a, a political speech, but I think, I think uh, greater political rights, social equality, uh, a, a chance for better education, I think, is the best weapon, to, uh, best weapon against terrorism and violence. It has been proven in many societies. Of course, people can do whatever they want. There's only so much you can do to stop. But uh, public education, you know, explaining uh, why it's bad and why it has not been successful in many, many cases, other than just getting people's attention. Uh, and also uh, giving people social and economic political rights that they deserve, 
including spiritual uh, life, I think would be very helpful uh, gradually reshaping the human uh, understanding and, uh, and potential uh, rejection and uh, resentment against violence. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I think it, um, not politicize, not ideology-based ideology teaching of uh, uh, religion would be the uh, most effective way. Yeah. There is no silver bullet. However, uh, many uh, people in Islamic and Christian and uh, Jewish uh, societies oftentimes like to hijack religion. And even in communist China, they have their own version of Quran. The Chinese being uh, uh, atheist, for the most part, uh, have published their own version of Quran and they appoint their own imams phrasing the motherland, communist system, so on and so forth, which is wrong. And that, that kind of uh, uh, interference and twisted version of teaching of any religion I think is tremendously damaging and could be a source of problems. Let it stay uh, in its own moderate course. Don't, some people in the United States even did it uh, right after 9-11. And some radical Europeans still use Christianity. The guy in uh, Norway, this uh, parliamentarian in Holland, and many others. Uh, I'm sure that there are many others that can be used, even in Islamic societies. Uh, they, 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 have, they promote their own twisted version of uh, religion. I think it is it's bad and, and it not, doesn't do any good to the humanity. You are right. I mean, there is radicalism has emerged in Islam, and there are uh, so-called they call Islamic terrorism. However, yeah. if you check the Quran, the real Islam, uh, terrorism is incompatible with the Quran because right. killing innocent people, Allah says in one verse, "I seek refuge in Allah from a curse Satan." Right. Killing, uh, murdering one innocent person is like murdering entire humanity. Right. Saving one person's life is saving entire humanity. So somebody cannot be a Muslim and a terrorist at the at same, the same time. time. Exactly. No one teaches them the real Quran. People are confused. They cannot have private re uh, religious teaching institutions established. It's illegal. But, and yet they don't believe in the Chinese appointed Imams because they, their purpose right. is completely different. Right. And then also they don't believe in some guys on the other side of the mountain. And it does not in think with the real, real Islam as you perfectly pointed out. So it, it's a big dilemma. For example, a model of uh, say uh, Turkish Islamic Union with the leadership of Turkey bringing all the Islamic countries together which will embrace not only Islamic countries, but Israel, Armenia, and Russia, so the Christians and Jews also together, right. will bring peace to the world. This will be beneficial not only for Middle East, but also Western world also. Right. The United States, who, uh, United States wants to stop the radicalism and the terror, but they try to do this with military precautions, but they suffer from that, Muslims suffer from that, everybody suffers from that. So I a Turkish Islamic Union, would that be a good model? I think so, I think so, and, and also there's the, uh, Turkey would be Turkey is in the best position to do that. Um, you know, it has a proven track record of being a moderate uh, democratic country. You know, democracy is a process. Yes. There's no one perfect democracy in the world. Yes. It, it, it is a process. It's a learning curve. You know, you can gradually make it better. You cannot make it perfect. Um, I am very pleased with the way that the Turkish democracy has been functioning. There's lots of flaws like any other democracies yes. in the world. Um, I think this country has a lot of potential, um, and it has taken a leadership in many other issues. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.